Hello friends and welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to learn how to import data in Microsoft Access 2016. Now before I start off, let me tell you quickly that it is not necessary that everybody uses the same software to store the database. Some people tend to use Excel as their database format. So they save their files in Excel format and they usually work upon it. Now Access gives us a very easy way to import this data from external sources. Now what are these external sources that we are talking about it can be a text file it can be an excel file it can be an xml file or it can be other database as well in this video we are going to learn how we import data from excel file in our practical approach let's try to understand how we import excel data into our access database so let's begin in order to do that i have to go to the external data tab which you can see on my top of the screen all right so i'll select the external data tab from there, I will go on the import and the link group. Now, as we are talking about the import group, I will click on the new data source. I can see there is a drop down menu. As I click on this drop down menu, I can see I have different options out here. As we are importing a data file from Excel database, so I will click on from file and I will then click on Excel. The moment I click on the Excel from Excel option, you can see a window like this is appearing right in front of you. Now basically first thing it is asking me for which is the file which you want to import from the Excel, right? So it is basically asking me the location of the file. So I can simply hit on the browse button. Now the moment I click on the browse button, I have this lots of data which I want to import. So I'll simply select the file which I want to transfer. So I select it, I click on open. Now there are three different options. Let's say I will select the very first option which will help me to import a data into a brand new table. So it will be importing this data into a brand new table. Let's click on OK. Let's see what happens next. The moment I click on OK, I have the all the database. Now let me show you the database file. As you can see right on the screen, I will go below. Out here, I can see there's a database in which I have the invoice number, the date, company, and the rest of the details, which can be obviously seen in my this window as well. So this is the same window, the net sales and the cost. So let's go and focus on the import spreadsheet visit. So I want the headers as well. So I'll select this checkbox i'll again hit the next button right so now it's again asking me if i want to skip any of the fields so as i select each field it is telling me what is the field name and what is the data types into it all right so as you can see everyone is having a different data type the net sales is having a data type of currency this is having a data type of a currency if you want to skip any i simply select that particular field and i'll select do not import but as of now I want all the database to be imported so I'll simply select the next option now basically uh, whenever I import a data into an access database I need to assign a primary key so let's assign a primary key now on its own it has created let's let access add a primary key as they have selected one two three for the unique ID number and they have assigned it as the primary key but I want the invoice number to be the primary key so I will select choose my own primary key and I want the invoice number to be the primary key alright so I have selected invoice number from this drop down menu I can select uh, any other field but I would like to make the invoice number as the primary key I simply hit next now it is asking me the name of this uh, table so I will select the same file name that is lots of data I'll simply type this as lots of data and I just select finish it will take some time give it a moment so what is access doing it is copying all the database from the excel and transfer to an access database as you can see, you can see the status bar. So it is telling you that some of the value which are duplicate are not being copied. So just simply hit OK. All right. And just now hit close. Now, as you can see on the table uh, navigation pane, just above the table one, I have lots of data, the database which you have just created. I just simply double click on it. Now, as you can see, the database is right here in front of you. So this, this was previously into my Excel file. Now it is into my access database. So this is how you import an Excel file into access database. This is all for the video.